What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Sean P. Back with another video. First off, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel, Sean P. TV. And in this video, we are going to talk about what type of math do pipe fitters use? And the type of math that we use is actually all types of math. But uh, I'm here to show y'all the book that I've been working out of, uh, Related Mathematics. This is the book that's issued to you as a first year apprentice. And pretty much it starts off with the basic type of math, like, you know, add, subtract, fractions, multiplication, multiplying fractions, decimals, and you kind of work your way up to more advanced math, like trigonometry, geometry. Uh, I haven't seen calculus in this book yet, but we're not nowhere near that because uh, we're only a couple months into our first year anyway. But here's a some of the basic, like here, here's some of the math that I kind of do in class. Like this is more of the travel offset in advance. And I kind of get this question quite a bit, like on like what type of math do we do? So th this is pretty much the type of math that we do. Like when you're running pipe and you kind of have to try to figure out the spread and the and the different type sizes of pipe, you would think that both, you would think that since both of these pipes look the same, that they're, they have the same exact measurements, but that's not the case. That's where you kind of have to figure it out. But a lot of times, uh, let's see what else I got in here to show y'all. Uh, you'll be measuring, like if you're trying to find center You'll, you'll measure like from the wall to center of pipe. That's that's kind of common with make, uh, taking measurements. But um, this is pretty much what we're doing in class right now. Uh, let me show y'all the book right quick. And a lot of times people feel that they uh, aren't really good at math. I think it's just, I don't know why people are intimidated by the math portion of being a pipe fitter or they're afraid to kind of jump into the trade because of that. And a lot of times the instructors are there to help you, man. If you have a problem, they're, they're there to help you because they want to, like I said, they want to see you do well in the trade. And this is some of the like basic stuff that we're doing. This is like just basic word problems, you know, like multiply 36.003 times 1.55. And, you know, either you could do it with a calculator or you could just do it by hand. I prefer to do it by hand because uh, honestly, um, you never know when a calculator might go out on you. So that way you kind of practice with that. But here's some of the stuff that we're doing in class. Like your measure sometimes from in the center or like from face to face or yeah, center to center, like center of the fitting to center of fitting. Um, what else? Center of the back. Like you'll measure from the center of the fitting to the back of the fitting. And where's another math problem? Any more math problems on here? Uh, here's a here's a one with the travel offset and advance, and this is pretty much like the stuff that we've been studying so far. We're not really that far in the book yet because we just started doing uh, math a couple of months ago, so we're still kind of relatively new to doing that. And then here's another like taking measurements, running pipe. But this is pretty much the type of math that you're going to deal with as a pipe fitter. Uh, my advice to anybody that feel they have trouble with math, um, don't worry about it, man. You got people that are going to help you. And what I notice in my class, a lot of my, a lot of, of the other apprentices help each other. Like if they have a problem, and the person next to them might know the answer, they'll help them figure out the answer. So I notice that a lot of my class. And the instructor, like I said, is there to help you. So if you feel that you can't do become a pipe fitter because of the math part, don't sweat that part because it is gonna come to you. It's just gonna it's just gonna click one day. It hasn't clicked for me yet because like I said, I'm a first year apprentice. But other than that, I mean, don't be intimidated by the math part because it's gonna come. And like I said, you got other apprentices that are probably going for the same kind of you know issues that you might have with math like what you like the same issues that you have so uh don't sweat the math part and um yeah i get that question quite a bit about what type of math do we do um you know taking measurements taking measurements with a tape measure learn how to use a tape measure it's not hard actually like i said there's quite a few videos on youtube on how to use a tape measure and um 
if you ever notice when you're using inches, it's by the 16th. There's like, you know, 1 16th, 2 16th, but 2 16th is really 1 eighth because if you divide it, you know, like 3 16th, 4 16th is really a quarter, you know, so forth and so on. So you'll you'll learn all that in class. And if, if you, you, you decide to become a pipe fitter and you're not, you don't know how to read tape measure, find somebody at your at your site that knows how to read one because um matter of fact another apprentice of mine asked me if i knew how to read a tape measure and i told him yeah but if you're not sure make sure that you learn how to do that because you do not want to be taking trying to take measurements and don't know how to read a uh, tape measure so um with that said don't sweat the math part you'll get it um i highly encourage people to get in as a plumber, pipe fitter, whatever trade you decide to do, get in while you can. Like I said, I wish I would've did something like this maybe years ago, but uh, other than that, um, please like, comment, subscribe. And you got any more questions about the apprenticeship, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, I'm out. Peace. Cut the damn camera off, Sean. Y'all don't sweat the math part. Don't sweat it. <laughs>